and it's just two with a few pointers on collecting Twitter tweets. We collect Twitter tweets via discovertext.com. You can create a free account and try this out yourself. Log in with Facebook or LinkedIn, or just create a unique username and password. When you get to the dashboard, click the Start a New Project button and give that project a name. In this case, I'm doing a project on Nike. In the Project Options, click on Import Data. In the Import Archive screen, click on Twitter. Step 1. Give the new archive a name. In this case, it's hashtag Nike. You can add new data to existing archives as well. Next, you're going to need to credential in with Twitter. Credentialing means you're allowing Discover Text to speak with Twitter behind the scenes to pass data. It does not mean that we're going to take over your account and start doing a bunch of crazy stuff with it. You'll be taken back to the application and then you can start your first feed. To learn more about what's going on with the Twitter API, visit the Twitter page where the search API is described. Please take note, there are many limitations on what you can do with the public API. Twitter has recently announced various changes to how the public API works. We invite you to pay close attention to these changes as time goes by. There are a number of ways that you can enhance your search by using operators. Again, the best place to learn about these operators, which can be used in Discover Text, is on the Twitter documentation. So step two is to get the search term in. In this case, it's going to be hashtag Nike. Step three is to decide whether or not to get repeated fetches going forward. I've chosen 100 in this case. There are variable options for how often you can do a fetch. There are also options with respect to the number of items per fetch, as well as the date range. Once data starts flowing into your archive, you'll receive notifications with respect to the number of items that have been found and written to the database. As time goes by, we only add new items to the database, and we can only go back so far. Again, all within the constraints set by the Twitter API. Once you have items in an archive, you can review them in a list. You can browse the individual items and their metadata. You can view them in the Cloud Explorer and drill in through searches via this representation. You can also identify all the exact duplicates, generate those duplicates, and then generate the clusters within the non-exact duplicates that represent near duplicates. We let you set a variable threshold for doing this. When you deduplicate or cluster, you'll get notifications when it's done. In this case, almost 1,900 items deduplicated down to about 1,600, and then there were 114 sets of variable size. All these features and more are documented in the Discover Text tutorials. We invite you to visit. Also, test our software. It's free to get started with no obligation. You've got nothing to lose. Give us a try. The company is TechSifter. It's an early stage software startup spun out of basic research funded by the National Science Foundation over 10 years. We look forward to hearing from you and we want to hear your story. So let us know, why are you collecting Twitter tweets and what are you doing with them?